Dinner time. Absolutely. Dinner suit. Let's try this one. See what it's like. Or a screen. Uh, I think there might be more. Uh, yeah. yeah. Different again. Is it? Yep. Coconut. You can taste yeah, it. Yeah, oh, with the coconut. Passion fruit, yeah. passion fruit in there. Beautiful. Yeah, I think yeah. So you Mango. Mango. Easy to pour it rather than using the tap. Oh, I just, mm. it's, quick, it's quicker right now. The coconut comes from it. You use the tap. If you're going to leave I it... I use tons of coconut and ginger. If you're going to yeah. leave it to sit on the machine, and, you know, if you're at home and you make a full one, you're not going to drink the whole jar at once. Right. So That's then what you do is you put it on there, like that, and then when you're ready, and it, that's why you put the ice in it too. Okay, so you can just leave it like that. <coughs> and then when you're ready... Yeah, <laughs> my green tea, <laughs> green dinner. <laughs> well, it's awesome. I'm impressed, and that's with one sachet of the yep. smoothie as well. Yeah, the coconut's nice actually. Yeah, beautiful. How smooth is it? Oh, it's so smooth. That's, yeah, that's the amazing thing. Yeah. This would be fantastic with the detox program, you know, the 10 days. Yeah. People were getting into this. Yeah. Actually, a lot more variety. you know the way to do that is actually tell them, the, make the recipes up with the detox and phlegm mm -hmm. and have them go on that recipe program. So if you, if they, how many times a day would you have this? Oh, you can have this three times a day, four times a day. Okay, so it's what um, you want, what you want to do for ten days? The mm. Ten day challenge, right? Oh, okay. Ten yeah. day detox and slim challenge. Yeah. So you make up all the recipes. They sign into it, and you have and you've got to. What you want to do is some have a blog well, attached to it somehow, so that people can come back with the results. Mm -hmm. oh, I just made this one. It tastes great. I've I've lost this much. I feel this. I feel that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But you tell them what to do. Mm. The rest, give them the recipes to follow all the way through. That could be part of your book. Yeah. You already have smoothie ideas there, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I might come out chunky. Oh, what machine are you using? You have a ladyship. Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> yeah, I put a, a celery, a couple of stalks of celery and all the leaves on it. Yep. And I thought that's going to be pretty difficult to smooth. But it just came out like this. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. But that's, if you do that, you'll find it'll just leap, it'll black. Yeah. Because yeah. then you're giving something for them to follow. Mm. More of a and if you attach a, a little diary to it somehow, so they can download that and they've got their little diary to make notes, and even have an example page to show them how to fill it out. Because people like don't think, you've got to show them. So you actually show them how to fill the diary out. Mm. What to measure, you know, and... They'll follow it if you do that. If you make it that simple, they will follow ABC it. ABC all the way through. Yeah, all the way through. Mm. All the way through. So that's really nice. Mm. Yep. And if it tastes good, mm. and they got a piece of equipment that makes it easy, it's, you've, you've just made, you've just paved the way. And, yeah. and I'll tell you what, I'm happy, like, for Australia, I'll get behind that and do that, no problem. Mm -hmm. yep. I'll oh, even, no. I could even get our guy to do a separate page just for desoxy and slim and this, and yeah. bang, we'll be away. Well, it's largely the reason people are getting into juicing and, and these sort of smoothies. Yeah, what's There's that? either for de getting out of the you know, processed food mm -hmm. into organics. Yep. Detoxing. Yeah. Losing weight, isn't it? You want some more? Leonard, you're right, or you want some more? Yeah. More energy? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Gosh, yeah. Right. Well, I don't know when I'm going to get those again. That's really good. Yeah. good. Mm. It's 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 also the thing of having being able to have different flavours with the That's same, right. with the same thing by having Yeah, yeah, so you have the green base it. and then you can mix it up. Yeah. yeah. You could do a, like a really intense orangey citrus flavour to like, you know, use the orange, not so much of the greens. Mm. So that's about, you know, mixing it up so mm. that you've got the different flavours. So I like ginger too. You could do beetroot. Yeah. You put beetroot in there. Mm. So. Ginger would be good. Mm. Turmeric. Mm. So we've done the smoothie mostly with fruits. 
Yeah. But it's it's interesting that it goes so well with the vegetables as well. It's great. Mm. It's even better. Mm. Right, because to me that's just you know the greens are awesome. Yeah. I mean, you could even try things like parsley and basil and stuff in there and see yeah, just what that does. Yeah. Yeah, right up. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See, because like I think you've got enough in this to make that carry through. Yeah, yeah. Just nice. But when you do your, when you try that, just make sure you measure your quantities of your, you know, your herbs and that. So you've right. got a recipe. Yeah. Because you yeah. know how we just whacked it all in. Big handfuls of. Yeah, and you can do that on camera, but then people are going to come back and they're going. To go, uh, what's the recipe for that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they go, well, you just have all this, a bit of that, a bit of that, you know. But there are people like me, I can work with the food and I'll get it tasting and I don't need a recipe. Yeah. But yet yeah, there's a section of the population, they have to have like lettuce like that. Like when he's cooking, he's like, it's got to be exactly like that. It's really smooth, um, even oh, without the really? filter, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're getting a lot more. You know what the coolest thing is about drinking right. this? Do you want to wash it? It's the colour. Mm -hmm. cool. Oh yeah. I love the colour. Right. But oh. I think that it's made the colour of something and we get the light of it. Yeah. It's the light of it. Yeah. 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 You know, I just the light of it. It's the light of you get this feeling, eh? Yeah. It's this, this light feeling, like a. And it knows your energy looks as well. If you watch, if you listen carefully, you'll notice that the energy just looks as well. You feel. Yeah. I'm feeling it now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, we got that. Now, when you clean the jar, I'm just going to teach you something very important. And I'm glad you've done that. So first thing, very good idea to turn the tap off. Right? Especially when you demonstrate. And the second thing is, we do that. Because what happens is when you do this, is you hum humidify the jar. And even though the blades are surgical stainless steel, if you do that enough times, you'll rust the blades. Okay? So, so you must lay the jar down like that. I meant to ask you about the, the one piece with the blade. You can't pull that apart. Yes, you can. Can you? Yep. All this part is replaceable. Actually, that's something I should have told you about in the you know when we were going through the features and yeah, methods. Yeah. All the parts in our machines are replaceable. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I need to replace the blade housing, Hang on. which is that this bit in here, just let me wipe the jar first. So you can see just now. Just tell us a little bit about the. Um, Hang on. We'll use this one over here. Yep, I'll just give this a wipe down so you can actually see inside. And then How about we'll using another jug? We can do that too. Well, we're we going to make almond milk as well, don't forget, so. Up for just doing this bit. Yeah, use your nice clean giant new jug. Yep, talk about it. use the 658, the 588 jug. That's fine. Thank you. <laughs> And here we have the 588. You're right, sir. What's that? You're right, you just go. No, no, no. BPA um, free. Oh, okay. So, so you're right for a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Don't feel like you have to stay. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Okay. okay. All right. Another, and let me just explain this. Another important thing about ladyship as a company is they've, from an environmental point of view and a longevity point of view, they've made it so that you can replace parts. Okay, so let me talk a little bit about that. So, see that O-ring there, this one here? You can replace that, okay? So we have those on our website. Uh, the cap you can replace. Uh, the, the connectors down here, which typically wear out or if you jam something, they can break. That, can, that unscrews and actually, if you look very carefully, you can see a screw on either side, okay? And all you do to actually undo it, see, see, see the that? screw there, on the side there, you can see it just down in there, okay, so you can replace those. They just unscrew, all that comes apart and you can replace it. Now, it, I'll just show you quickly how to do that. So, if you're going to take the connector off, let's see if I can undo it by hand. Oh, I did it very, 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 very
but basically all you do it's anti clockwise hold the blade undo that and then you, all of that pulls apart and including the housing because what wears out on all machines whether it's ours or anyone's is going to be the seal in the middle and you can see you can see the housing in here see down here that's the housing there that's also got the seal in it so all that comes out and you can you can replace it and the parts aren't expensive okay the, we haven't you know like I think in New Zealand dollars I can just tell you in Australian dollars that that's nine dollars ninety to replace it the so housing yeah just the housing you can, so you can replace that if you damage a filter you can replace those so I think it's about twenty bucks in New Zealand to replace the filter okay, okay so mm -hmm. that's <clears> an important thing because people do ask Mm -hmm. um, if you need a complete jar or you want a second jar, you can buy a complete jar. Okay? So they're on our site. Okay. Alright? Oh, great. Thank you. That's, that is an important thing, by the way, so, because people do ask about that. To put that in perspective, if it was um, when I was selling the Vitamix, they were about $150 New Zealand. To replace yeah. Blade. Ah. Yeah, Blade. the blade. Yeah, replace the. The whole th yeah, we'll blade the whole take, yeah. You could, I don't think you could replace the blade or anything. And they go, same as anything, they yeah. it's just, it's a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they do, they do. Yeah. You know, I've had people say, oh, no, they don't have any problems, no. I know people. Yeah. Machines. Yeah. Machines. Yeah. No, but it's just a, just a point of view. Yeah. Environment's going to do stuff. Okay. Now, what do we want? We want that jar. What do I do with it? Good. So we're awesome. going to do a yeah. almond milk. So we want that, we want the filter. What did that one there? Have you made that? Oh, you've made tons of almond milk. Yeah, it? we have. Yeah, yeah. Do you, what recipe do you use for that? Um, no. You don't use that? No, we, we soak the almonds, we added okay. honey and Three to one. water. Three to one? Three to one? Three to one. Roughly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we want to wash that a bunch of We've got to more ice if we need things. The same. Yeah. Oh, we won't put it on there. That's just a small one. That's what I made about 10 days ago. Is it still going? It's not ready. It's not ready. When you open it now. It's not like 20. Yeah. Been drinking it for over a week. Oh, here's the, the solids from the milk. I don't know. It was, um, yeah. It's a sourdough. <laughs> where's, where's the dates? Um, I've got some dates here. For you. I haven't. Made them. Yes. So what we'll do is I'll make it like this first and then we can put the detox in there. Yeah. So you can just taste it like this first. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just put those there. Uh, now we should have maybe in here. Oh, 
Oh, I'm okay. For the sake of, sometimes for the sake of YouTube, it, it doesn't matter so much how professional it looks. But if it's on the actual website, then, yeah. it's going to be a bit more professional. Yes, yes. Come on. <laughs> Absolutely. That's just yes. Come on, the other girl. Come back. Okay. One, one thing we need before we start is we need a lid. And we need to wipe that a little bit. Now tell me you're the queen of almond milk. Is that true? Me? Yeah. Really? Ah, well, you're about to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're ready. Okay, so we've got almonds here, soaked. Yes. Hi guys. We're milk. gonna make some almond milk. And we've got some dates. Yes. And some ice. Yeah. We have got some ice. That is true. And um, anything else that we'll add to it, Matt? Ah, uh, yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of Himalayan salt. And we've got some coconut here. You can see just in here. That's coconut. Great. And the other thing we're gonna do, because what happens when you make the almond milk? You're going to have the pulp left, and everyone asks us, what do you do with the pulp? So I'm going to show you how to use the pulp, and there's actually quite a few things you can use the pulp for. So you know the green smoothies? Hmm. We can also use it for the green smoothies. Okay, so you can use the pulp in the green smoothies. So okay. nothing's wasted? Nothing's wasted. Uh, chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse is sensational. Okay, so now this time, this is a time we do not need the filter. Oh yes, we do need the filter because we're going to make the almond milk first. So, what you do is you take the filter, the number one fine filter, and you slide that in the jar like so. Okay, just like that. And then, you take your ingredients. Except for those ones that want to escape. And we'll just grab those out from underneath there. And pop them in there like so. And I've got some coconut. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll show you. There you go. And we'll pop some coconut in there. And I'll tell you one other little ingredient that goes well in here too. So we'll just reach over and out past where the camera is. No, not that one yet. Is we used some plain stevia before with the whole lemon juice. I'm going to use some vanilla flavoured. But we only want a few drops, okay? Just a few. Okay. Not like we did before. And finally, a little bit of the Himalayan salt. Which we've got in this cute little white container here. And to that one bit of ice as well. So, if you've got chilled water, then you don't need the ice. Okay. And then we've got our water. What I usually do is, on the front of the jar, you'll see a measurement there. Can you see that, Sharon? Yep, so we've got... So we're about 600 ml? Yep. yep, okay, great. That's perfect. So we take our lid, lock that on top like so, and then I'll just grab another jar, slide that under like so, and then all we do Similar to what we did with the lemon juice, we just pushed the on button. But the difference is this time we're going to wait until the milk gets to about here, then turn the tap on, okay? And then once it's done that, and the milk slows down, we'll turn it off and add a little bit more water, and I'll let it process a bit more, and then we'll turn the tap on again, okay? So here we go. Look 
process that a little bit longer and probably get some more out of it, but uh, that's it. Oh, that looks nice and creamy. It's our almond milk. Okay, let's try it. I can see shot glass here. Look at this. <laughs> I spied it. Let's try that. Try. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Let's try one, two. Yeah, okay. One's a bit bigger than <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'll go back for a second. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It's delicious. Do you like it? Yeah, nice and sweet with the stevia and the dates. Yep. Mmm, the coconut's got a nice taste there too. Oh. Mm. Alright. In the reality? I know, it's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible! <laughs> but I have it three times a day. <laughs> mm. I'll be the dishwasher. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. That's much better than plain almond milk. Fuck, I mean, it's not plain it's almond milk. Not too plain almond milk isn't plain almond milk, is it? If you, you buy it, you buy it. Because as we know, it's, it's, it, it might, there has to be preservatives mm. and, and yeah. uh, all that sort of stuff happening because she um, keeps it right. in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thing to it. Yeah, it doesn't taste as good as this. Mmm. That's a smoothie in itself. Mmm. It does. Try that. Yep. Down <laughs> oh, yeah. the hatch. Mmm. <laughs> that could be a dessert. Yeah, that's nice. Like the dates. Mmm. The dates really add something to it. Yeah. Just grab a spoon. Mm. Okay. So if you're not going to use it all at once, you can freeze it and use it when you're ready. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate smoothie out of that. So we've got the almond pulp from, yep. from the and almond milk. This is very simple to do this. So what you do, if you want to make a chocolate mousse, you start with this, you add an avocado, right? Three quarters of a cup of coconut milk, two tablespoons of soaked chia seeds, um, about six teaspoons of cacao, a little bit of your vanilla stevia and some salt, and you blend that up in the ladyship, put it in your little mousse glasses, stick it in the fridge and half an hour later you've got chocolate mousse, no dairy. Mm -hmm. um, no sugar, and it's sensational. And you'll eat it on that night, I can guarantee you. <laughs> but then you'll go back and go, I want more. Because that's what it's like. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. The chocolate mousse is sensational. Because we're using cacao, it's, um, it's not that real, you know, over the top. Thanks, Rena. So, with this one, just uh, do you have cacao? Do you use cacao? No. You can buy it from the health food. Yes, I use it all the time. But that, well, that wasn't for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. And it's, yeah, these containers aren't so good. Anyway, it doesn't matter. A little bit of uh, Himalayan salt. But see, even you could. We'll try it like this, and then we'll add a um, detox and slim as well, and just see what happens with it. Yeah, it'd be yeah. nice to try it with, and then uh, without, and then with. Yeah, just to see. Now you need, if you don't use a stevia, use you can use some honey as well, or honey water. And the honey water is just mixed with water. Um, okay, and then a bit of ice in here. If you did drink alcohol, you could also turn this into a cocktail. I don't drink alcohol, but um, we have tried it to see what that would be like, and it does work really Good well. Good feedback. <laughs> huh? Good feedback. Yeah. Like Kahlua, Tia Maria, and Bailey's ice cream, if you really want to know exactly what it is. <laughs> So you know 
still have a little bit of a grippy taste with uh, when you ate it. Yeah. Watch what happens when you do this. Still with no filter on there? No filter. Mm. Get a picture of that. Actually, don't the texture. You don't if you could, you just drink it. Can I just spring that up just so we can see how thick and smooth it is? I would love to, darling. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Thanks for that. Oh, actually. Sure. <laughs> 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 I won't edit that out. <laughs> How's that? We don't need spins? No. How is it? Mmm. It's pretty sweet. Wow. Mm. That is nice. Yeah, that's like this. Okay, Sorry. let's try it with this because I think I'll mm. probably jump a hundred times when we do this. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. Mm. That's with the vanilla, Steve, yeah? And you know, it's all whole life food. Not one bit of it's cooked. Mm. Mm. And people are out there going, oh, you can't eat that rubbish. What are you talking about? Are you have your tree. Mm. You know, that's what, that's what, seriously, if people come up and say, oh, I'm not going to eat that. No. Oh. They're happy to have chemicals. Yeah. yeah. Give me a bunch of Blend up the tree. <laughs> or burn a rotting carcass on the, on the barbecue. Mm. Or have that Maccas. <laughs> Leave it sit for the next 10 years and it still won't be there, right? <laughs> yes, at McDonald's, I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing that hasn't been proven before, that's for sure. Okay, let's see what happens here. I've got some more almond milk in there. I was just throwing a detox yeah. and slim. Yeah. Did you just put a whole one in, did you? So yeah. I was vegetarian, I think. You're a, you're a full blown vegetarian. Did you? Yeah, just for fun? Yeah. 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 Just from a health fish shop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good health fish shop, we'll have cacao. No uh, particular... Okay. Glasses? Yes, okay, another one. Yep, you're coming, you're coming. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to spread this one? Oh, uh, yeah. So what have we got now? Chocolate mousse with detox and slim smoothie? Yep. What's that taste like, sorry? Mm, let's see. It's thick. Mm, that's good. It's quite a bit sweeter now. Yeah. Yep. You wouldn't need the oh, dates. Oh, right. You wouldn't mm. need the dates if you did this one. Well, maybe... Where's really? yours, Lennon? You wouldn't need the stevia. Yeah, you wouldn't need the stevia. You probably wouldn't need the stevia or the dates. Mm. <laughs> 